All right, guys. Hey, yo, what's up? I like him instead. Guys, welcome back to Ruba's favorite podcast. Y'all already know. No filter in. Paradise, baby. And that's on what? Periodico. You already know. Guys, welcome back to another episode. Today is going to be... Wait, I'm trying to <laughs> fix this. Wait. I know. It's like you're not ready. I'm, I wasn't, no. <laughs> but I am now. So okay. if you can hear me properly, awesome. If not, sorry. I don't know if I should wear this hat. Because I don't know if, like, you'll see me. I mean... You would say up. yes, because it's... No, it's up to you. It's up to you. You decide. Do you look... What's better, front or back? I don't know. You look You look good with both. Right? I love both. I wear both of them, so it's fun. Where is your periodical hat? You told me that you lost it. Did you find it? No, I did, I, I did where, find it back. Where was it? I have no idea. Move the mic up a little bit closer to you. What? Like, move move it closer to the, to the chair. Oh. Like slide it in. Okay. Hey. Oh, okay. Make sure it's right there. It's like right there. Like I know. It has to be. Otherwise, okay. you can't hear shit. Okay. All right, guys. Welcome back to the show. Uh, before we jump into the show, uh, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are currently, as we speak, we are five subscribers away. I'm pretending to look, but I'm not looking. Because I was like, wait, what was it again? We're five subscribers away from hitting a thousand sub subscribers on YouTube. So please, for those who have subscribed already, through, thank you. We love you guys. If you haven't, and you want to be loved, then hit that subscribe button. That was so cute and like gayish. I love like, it. How the fuck is that like, gay? Like this was so cute. How is that gay? Because I did a heart? Yeah, it's like cutish. What do these people do nowadays? Like, I can't even... People, like, people do something different now? Yeah, like I they do know. like a... Like a I, don't, I, don't I must be know. too old for that because I don't know. Yo, speaking of being old, <laughs> I felt so fucking old this past weekend at Gusto. It's spring break, but it's like, like the high school just graduated high school yeah. going to college spring break. Shark, holy fuck! Like, I felt uncomfortable. Like, hey, you want something to drink? I feel like um, <laughs> I feel like I'm serving minors. I'm like, this is this is totally fucking wrong. ID, ID, ID. Even though they checked you already, no, but we do ID, we do ID. <laughs> that's why nobody get nobody gets through the gusto door. No, that's checked. what we know. But I mean, that's how it probably felt like serving them. It's like, Dude. where's your ID? No, <laughs> I double check. Excuse me, you have an ID? Yeah, here you go. <laughs> I look at it. I was like, damn, bro. it's correct. They did not make a mistake at the door. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not just that. It's like, what do you want, little girl? <laughs> no, like I was like, hey, would you like something to drink? No, no, no. He'll he'll help me. Like they'll point at the younger bartenders, like Joey or um, <laughs> oh. I also felt offended at the same time. I'm like, you fucking bitch. They old shame you. <laughs> you have no idea. I felt super old. I felt they pretty much threw me on the bus like, mm, you're a little too old to talk to. So how about you just go and stand over there and Perf give me that young bartender over there Perf who's been hitting the gym. Perf alert. <laughs> Who, me? That's probably what they were saying. Like, uh. Pretty much. Like, you see a bearded guy who's bald? They probably think I'm fucking 40-something. <laughs> Yo, fuck these kids, man. <laughs> fuck these kids. I remember when I was... That's wait, what wait, I be saying. Fuck them kids. No, well, because you don't want kids, but... Literally, fuck these kids. Like, <laughs> I want to stand by it. Fuck them. If you're watching the show and you're 18 you think I'm old, go fuck yourself, right? <laughs> because when you, when you were young, when you were young, did you think... Like, you're 18, you're like, wow, if I hit 30, my life is over. Okay. Did, you have, did you have that feeling when you were younger? I did not. That is so. But no, but no, but like that was like if by thirty you should have a house, you should be married, you should have this. That was the old way. But like, that was actually by twenty five. When I was growing up, it was like okay. When you get to twenty five, it's like when you're like an adult. Yeah, yeah. But I never felt the pressure. I've always like enjoyed it. But for some reason, like most of my friends, they dread thirty. What do you mean? Like the younger, the younger one of my friends are like, oh my God, you're going to be 30. Your life is over. I like, thought the same thing. I do not. I, I'm so excited. I'm like. I agree. I agree. When I hit 30, I was like, bro, I feel like I'm 23. I still feel young. I feel energetic. So now I have time. I'm still young and I have money. Like, it's crazy. So like, I honestly, if, you, if you're 18 and watching this, or even if you're 21, you think we, if you hit 30. You think your life is over? Guess what? You're fucking wrong. Like, I really think I've asked most people who are in their 40s or 50s, and they tell me their 30s were the best times, the best decade of their life. So I'm, I got seven more years to go. Yeah, like, no, I, I, I'm i excited. Like, to me, it's like, yeah, like, you're just getting smarter and, like, better and, like, 
You look. You, you look. You, you look see forward. people making the dumb mistakes that you used to make. I'm like, dude, that's me. Don't do that. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? No, that was me and Gusto. Like now, I see Damien and Joey. Like they're both 21, although they go a lot around and lie to all the girls. I'm 27. <laughs> Depending, like if the girls, they always ask first, "What's your age?" Oh, I'm 23. And they always ask, "What's you?" And they always go two, three years above them. Oh, I'm 25. <laughs> Or I'm this or I'm that. So what I do now is, is I, you know, I have my section at the bar. Whenever there's a girl that I know for a fact, they're going to walk over where they're from <laughs> to come over. I start talking to them first. Hey, what's up? Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, how old are you guys? Oh, we're 21. Cool. <laughs> just so you know, those two guys over there, just so you know, they're 21 too. But they're going to tell you they're 24 or 25. Just letting you know. They're fucking lying. Why would you do that? You love the just, dry snitch. I love it. Nice. Especially when it's like... When they lie, when they lie to their girls and they get caught and then the girls react <laughs> and they're like, uh, 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 and like, I'll be right back. And they just leave. <laughs> it's just entertaining for myself, you know? Sam, that but, is a lot of dry snitching you but be I, doing. I used to ask Peter, like, hey, Peter, like, look at Damien and Joey. When I started here, was it like that? It's like, bro, you were worse. I can't believe and that. And I apologize, like, yo, I'm sorry <laughs> for all the dumb shit I did in here. But, um... But yeah, definitely this past weekend, I was telling Tori about it as well. I was like, bro, I feel fucking old. Tori, I miss you, girl. She'll be back. Anchor, I just want to say three more that. weeks. She's visiting her family. Her sister's pregnant. Yeah, congratulations. I remember you told me that. Yeah, yeah. So maybe like there's, there's a baby shower coming up. I won't be able to go because I'm going to be in Spain. She's not too happy about it. <laughs> She's probably going to watch this and be like, damn right, I'm not. But, um, but yeah. Anywho. Um, I want to say a few things because I'm probably going to forget this as we're talking. Guys, uh, real quick, um, starting now, we're going to be doing giveaways every single episode. Um, what we're giving away is real quick. Shout out to our proud sponsors, Heineken yeah. Silver, Desperado. Extra no, refreshing, baby. Let's go. Extra refreshing for real. Let's go, Heineken. No, this is, I really like, I really like this Heineken um, Silver. Um, guys, um, every single episode, we're going to be giving away for two people. Uh, you can win a six pack of Heineken silver and you win a three pack of Desperado. All you have to do is just leave a comment. That's it. You don't ask for much, you, don't, like, you know, oh, and hit that subscribe button, subscribe and leave a comment. That's all we ask for. We are not asked for money or anything. Nah, we don't want your money. Just, uh, show some love and support to the show. Every single week we pick out a winner and, oh, and we're also giving away, um, the 25th of March, there is a party at the venue. Um, DJ Chucky, Steve Andreas. Oh, yeah. Bradley Fonseca, DJ Jamie, um, DJ Cash, Cash with a K. And hosted by me. Um, we're giving yeah. away two tickets. Um, we got two to give away. Two, two this week and two next week. Because next week, we also have Steve Andreas on the show. Ooh. Yeah. And hopefully, we get Chucky, too, to come that same week. So hopefully, I'm, I'm waiting for... Confirmation, Steve should let, let me know go. this week. So, guys, if you want to win, um, so three people are gonna win. One, two people will win a six pack or and a three pack, and one person will win two tickets to go to the DJ Chucky party at the venue March twenty fifth. So, leave a comment. Thank you, love you. Moving on. Um, la oh, shout out to our last week's winner who won the Heineken Silver, uh, Daryl Barreño. He is a Long term, yeah. long time fan of the loyal, show. Loyal, loyal, baby. 100%. And also Brian Marchena. You guys are the winners. Um, hit us up on Instagram, slide in our DMs. Hey, what's up? I'm here to claim a prize. <laughs> Thanks for the support, supporting the show. And yeah, you could be in next week's winner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Hablo conmigo. Um, yeah, I don't know, you know. Oh, speaking of Gusto. So this past weekend, I have learned a few things. You've and learned? I saw a few things that's actually super hilarious. Number one, starting him, um, you know when a guy gets like friend zone really bad, like it happened in front of me. For so this couple walked in, or at least I assumed they were a couple. This guy and a girl walks in, and this girl after like a few hours, like they you know they've been drinking. I took her some shots with them, and the girl starts pointing because we have like you know how we have the signs behind the bar, like you know yeah, that's working, working, that. dancing in the bar, and then we have one that says body shot because you know Damien and Joey are. Horny perverts and they use it as a, you know, to do body shots of girls. Anyways, this girl points at the body shot. I'm like, oh, you know, 
do you want, I, do, I want to do a body shot. I'm like, cool. <laughs> Not going to be me now with this body. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it'll, be like, like, it'll be like a water slide going down my belly. <laughs> Does it go on your navel? Like they throw it yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that is yeah, so, so disgusting. Yeah. Ew. Especially if they don't clean it. <laughs> you know, people like, I want to, do people even clean the little navel thing? I do. That how, is, how? and it smells horrible. It is the worst scent. Like it smells like a Dirty vagina. Wait, I don't know. First of Not all, that I've no, smelt one, but no. I'm just saying it smells really bad. It has a distinct. It's a smell. very distinct smell. Like it's not nice. Not pleasant at no, all. No, it's kind of like when you don't brush your teeth all day, and then you go with your finger in the back of your throat, and then you smell let it dry and <laughs> smell it. <laughs> okay, you've done that. <laughs> I used to have a. I used to have an old colleague when I used to work at Senior Frogs. One of the managers. Um, his name is Hugo. Oh, would you stop trying to call out people like No, <laughs> this guy is fucking crazy, man. This guy is and like I think he was dropped as a baby, <laughs> like 1000 percent So this guy would literally, he is so weird that he would like do that, like and then let it dry off a little bit. Or like he would be like this, like he will rub it on his like his hand and let it dry off a little bit. And like I just bought this new cologne. Check it out. And he's feeling, what the fuck is that? Ah, shit. Nothing. It was a new cologne that I bought. Like, he would just prank is, people all day. That is gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy is weird. But still, um, navels are the same. So, guys, clean your fucking navels. <laughs> when you Ew. shower. Well, how do you clean it with water? Like, you use a Q-tip? A Q-tip. And, yeah. like, um. We should grab one right now and try just to see if alcohol, yours is actually rubbing clean. Rubbing alcohol. I want to test to see if your yours there's no, no. You're weird. Just want to put you on the spot. I don't give a fuck. I'm a bad bitch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But so that's anyways, gross. anyways, anyways. So, so, so these moving on, like with, with, the body shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they go like, yeah, you. I'm like me. I'm like that's kind of fucking weird. Your fucking boyfriend's right there, right there. Plus, I won't do it because you know I have a girlfriend. And then uh, I will always point like that. Like Damien do it or Joey do it. And I'm like. No, yeah, yeah. You want to do it? Like I point at the guy. Like, yeah, come on, lay down. The girl. I'm not even kidding. Exaggerating. Ew, hell no. I was like, wait, isn't this is your boyfriend? Isn't it? Like, no, this is my friend, <laughs> bro. I swear to God, the pain in the guy's eyes. He was like, oh shit. Like I think he was crying on the fucking inside. I felt so bad for the guy, and I try to, you know, I try to, you know. Come on, do the kiss sign. Like, yeah, come on. I was trying to fucking. Sam, no, you're making it worse. No, like, you should. You don't, shut the you fuck don't up. know. Maybe the girl starts drinking and then, then, you know, he gets a kiss and then happy ending. That's, no, whoa, that sounds like rape. That even no, sounds like, like How the fuck is like, kissing rape? And then, and then happy ending. Like, you never know. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe the girl was like, oh, you know what? He was actually a good, a good kisser. I mean, uh, like, no, that is wrong. If she anyways. said no, that's ill. No is no. Oh, his breath was probably smelling. I don't know, but this guy got friend. I've never seen somebody get friend zoned. I would have died like right then and there. I would have been a bitch paying your own tab. Bye. Oh, we're it's friends, good, right? Why am I paying your tab? It's a good thing I friend zone everybody too. As what? I friend zone everybody. So yeah, because you're not the, the. That's why. So it's like perfect. Yeah, yeah. You don't care. But you can see that if, if you saw the pain in the guy's face, Pobrecito. maybe I he felt, was really I felt trying. Bad. He oh, should have yeah. just left it. Like it's just the two of them. There's nobody else. Like this guy actually, like, because I, I started thinking, what if this girl came with him with his family on vacation? Like, yo, come with me, you know? And they, this girl's probably thinking, like, oh my God, a free trip. Meanwhile, this guy's like, <laughs> I'm going to make a fucking move. Palo Rumang. The heartbroken. This guy was, anyways, probably ruined his fucking vacation. Poor thing. He probably talked to her down, I hope. Oh, I don't fucking know. At that point, I just like gave up and started serving other people. Like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna step back um, from this situation. That is so sad. Are you okay? I just realized I don't have a, a Heineken Silver. <laughs> I'm looking around like, wait, I'm pretty sure I grabbed one from the fridge. Ay, pobrecito. I know. But, anyways, another thing I learned this weekend in Gusto this guy walked in, had a bunch of piercings. And then me and one of my other colleagues, we were talking to him. And at some point, one of my colleague, my colleague asked him, like, yeah, he's like, how many prisons do you have? Oh, like 20 something. Like, what the fuck? Like, and then obviously she proceeded of asking, oh, where do you have your piercing? Oh, here, here, here. He had a piercing right here, like through the nose, his nipples. And then he final, finalized it by saying, oh, and a dick piercing. 
obviously we're like very interested like <laughs> please elaborate where exactly and he's like have you ever heard of a prince albert piercing have you ever heard of it that's the one like in the head right yeah how bro and then obviously i never heard of it so i had to google it <laughs> and then it's literally it, it's like and it goes through the pee hole and it yeah. like comes out and it, it hangs or you how can put, you can put a wall how would you ever do that no are you crazy but you have nipple piercing so i just ask no no ew like the nipples are cute like these are yeah, like yeah. for the girls you don't have to wear a bra <laughs> like you know <laughs> trying to go like i didn't try i, I actually did it oh okay good I mean, you know, you're kind of fit now, so. So, they still jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> My money don't wiggle, wiggle. Hello, don't play with me, baby. <laughs> no, but that's a, that's a very interesting, it sounds very fucking painful. No, that's, that's crazy. I've seen one, in, like, in real life before, though, but, uh, like, yeah. Wait, 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 please explain. As you explain, yeah, I'm going to grab a beer. I'm not going to explain. I'm, like, wanna, I'm just want, saying. You want a water or desperado? No, I'm, I have water. I'm good for now. All right. It, please explain. I'm going to go grab my There's beer. There's nothing to explain. Yes. I just said I've seen one in real life, and it wasn't nothing when like you, When you say I've seen one in real life, like, elaborate, like, how exactly did you end up seeing this piercing? I was minding my business, okay? And I was, like, talking to somebody that I knew, and then they proceeded to show me that that's what they have. So I just saw it. I was like, oh, wow, okay. Did it hurt? They were like, yeah, like a motherfucker. But then it was like, okay, no, it doesn't, it doesn't continue hurting, which is like, I, to me, it's, it's still weird. I don't care what nobody says. Like, that's just painful, hurtful, and it looks painful. It's a no go for me. Oh, that shit looks fucking painful. No, when I saw the picture on Google, I was like, what the fuck? Who would do this? Obviously, that guy. I wonder if it's like a room. thing that, like, yeah, I don't want to be like. The girls do it too, though. What? What'd you say? The girls do it too. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Cheers, guys. People are crazy. Yeah, I mean, I, I wonder. Well, this guy was gay, so I wonder if it's if it's only gay people do crazy things like this, or also some straight people. Why are you gonna look at me like that? Just a simple question. That was a very dumb question. Like, mm -hmm. actually, yeah, it was a little bit. Come on, Sam. This is so refreshing. Propaganda, <laughs> <laughs> uh, propaganda. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Mm. Come through. But yeah, that's what I learned this weekend. That I'm old and dick piercings. What about you? How was your weekend? It's interesting. Yeah. It's very interesting. It was okay. Um, my weekend. Um, I saw you at Gusto. I had my yeah. deliveries on Friday. Yeah. Tell me about it. How, really I sold good. out. Nice. Congratulations. I'm thank proud you of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So that went really well. Um, after that, I got a flat tire. <laughs> right outside at Gusto. Like in the parking lot. Like in the parking lot. So after we left you, walked to my car, it's flat. We parked right in front of the CrossFit thing. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. like we're all like on the main road. Everybody kind of, wants yeah. that parking spot and they're like waiting for us to move. And I'm like, we clearly can't move here for flat. <laughs> like, so you can keep it pushing. Like, get the fuck out of here. Damn, shoddy. So I'm like sweating and I had a procedure. You had to, to put some work in. Why didn't you post this on your story? This would have been great content. No, I didn't. I didn't have a phone, like a good phone. Uh, ex uh -huh. I was gonna ask. Shut, shut up. How did you get that new phone, Shark? <laughs> we gonna... had this conversation the other day. Like, shut up. You literally told me like I'm not gonna buy a new phone because I really want to focus on periodico. And I and, and I you did. I, no, I meant what I said. For that, I'm curious. How did you get that phone then? I was not telling you that. Anyway, so I got a flat tire, and then I went home. No, I went to my friend's house. And then Saturday, what did I do on Saturday? Was that Saturday? No, that was Friday. It was Friday. Saturday, mm -hmm. I didn't do anything. I, I was transferring the f information from one phone to another phone. Mm -hmm. And then I went to visit my friend. Shout out to my girl, Spona. Okay, so I was at her house. She was getting ready to go out. And she 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 taught me this new fight on move. Yeah. Do you want to show us? Oh, my God, I'm going to show you. So it's <laughs> called... <laughs> She is so ghetto. I love her. Like that. I think that is like my most ghetto friend. Is, is this the girl that you said if you ever had a roast, you definitely want to have her on the show? I don't forget this. Probably, Remember, yeah. You talked, she's you definitely about one of them. It. Like she, Guys, she knows me way too well. Shark has mentioned on his radio show, <laughs> uh, wasn't it periodical? What the periodical show? The periodical show. show on XFM. It's all about periodical. Baby. You said <laughs> you want to have a roast. 
I would definitely do it. I would definitely. And host you're gonna it. sit in the chair and get all your friends, Kina Bruja, the, the girl you just mentioned, everywhere to come and just fucking roast you. If you guys want to see that, leave a comment. Say no, I'll do it. I'll do roast. it. I'll do it. I'll I think we it. should. No, I'm doing. I'm definitely gonna do it as one of my events for sure. That's, for sure. That's fucking funny. For sure. I don't think you, you're you're a tough one to crack. Like no, you can't. Nobody can get. Almost no one can get through you. I mean, you. look, there's rules to roasting also. Okay. Like you can't hit certain points. Like no, you can, you can hit every single point. There's no point that's off limits. That's roasting, mm -hmm. but it just it can't be mean. There's like a, there's like a line between like funny and like cruel. Like if you're like saying stuff like okay, like you should die because yeah, oh wow, like that's like no, ridiculous. That, that's, that's not yeah. roasting anymore. Yeah. It has to be funny. That's a roast. <laughs> a roast is supposed to be like you're supposed to just land yeah the jokes just behind each other. It's supposed yeah. to be like oh. Ah! Like shark feet are so big, it's like, ugh, like you gotta give 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 it to me. That's what I believe is a roast. We watch RuPaul, so we know yeah, what a roast yeah, yeah. is. Like you I have only, to be I able used to, to take watch it. roast on Comedy Central. Yeah, like you yeah. have to just take it, but it needs to be funny. If it's not funny, it, then it's it, like it can't be insulting. It has to be yeah, funny. Yeah, you can't yeah, it, yeah. like you have to it have to be insulting. But like a funny insult. It needs to be fucking yeah, yeah, funny. Yeah, it needs yeah. to be hilarious. Like I need to be able to like I would laugh. Pay, like, I would pay to go watch. I would I this is an event. This is the event. Like Not I would definitely is, charge. I would no. even charge like look, you get you this Bye, is, Florence. I have a I have the I have a concept. I have a, a full on concept. I'm, I'm listening. I have a full on concept. Just, we're recording. <laughs> I'm gonna write this down. We're recording. I'm no, shut up. I'm, I'm gonna steal it, you know. <laughs> Oh wow! I don't care. You can steal it. You no. still don't have the sauce. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to say? No, I know. So it's whatever. I'm not gonna tell you anymore. But anyways, no, you, actually, you shouldn't tell me because then people are gonna watch and be like, "I'm gonna do that." They can do it, but nobody's gonna do it like I can. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, you, you, they won't have you and your friends, which like, is like it's, it's, it would never be the, the same. Anybody can take it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I am the secret recipe, baby. <laughs> Well, I'm looking forward for you to do it. No, it's definitely we'll going to we'll, happen. Hey, we'll see. We'll bring all the cameras, and then we just record everything. It's definitely going it to happen. YouTube. Oh, fuck it, yeah. We're, we're going to make it happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. But um, what was I saying? The fighting movie. that. Oh, Spoon my God. Okay, you. Spawn a Fight. Okay, so it's called Close Line. Yeah, it's, a, it's she's like, she's from San Nicolas. So, 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 like, that my girl. Anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to stand like. In like a radius of the like the person is supposed to be like here, and you're supposed like like arm reach. Yeah, arm like, reach? yeah, but you, you're not supposed to go all the way like this way. Yeah. So the person is supposed to be like here. This is yeah. this is their head. It's to be like, mm. <laughs> like in the throat. So basically, you're throat punching the person. <laughs> well, like this. <laughs> like a throat chop. Yeah, but it's like a, it's called a clothesline. Why? Because you can like clothesline, like like you know, like. <laughs> like mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you ever use that move. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be. I'll, I I wouldn't even be able to take it serious. I'm, I'll be laughing. <laughs> I'm just wondering what was she on when she started. Uh, oh no, she on. she doesn't care. She she just fight anybody. She don't care. But she's changing. She's changing. She's not. But, she's not like a fighter like that anymore. But uh, I was speaking of Saint Nicolas because this is also what I want to ask because you know you're from from Pariba. There was a shooting the other day. Oh whoa whoa. Do you know about this? No. Oh, there was a shooting somewhere in San Nicolas. Oh, the cop, I heard about this. The cop yeah, yeah, shooting yeah. like a, well. I didn't hear too much about it though, but I did hear something about it. No, I think I just heard about it too. So I thought maybe I'd ask you because maybe you know yeah. more than me. The, the, on, the only details I heard or like light that I heard is that like, so the cop is like a new cop. Yeah. It was a young, it was, it was a, it was a young guy. Yeah. yeah. He just graduated, like just got his everything. Uh -oh. And... I guess the guy, this guy goes out to wherever they go all the time. And it seems like the cops, like they went ahead. They went and tell them like they have to move from where they go. They, they chill some club out all the time. Yeah. And this guy's always there. And it looks like the, the cop just like got scared or something. I don't know. <sighs> he just shot him. Yeah, so the guy, is, I heard the cop is like on suspension now. They took away his gun and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I heard. But then I'm also hearing from the other side, they're saying that no, uh, they, it was a case about, um, I think, human trafficking or something like that. Or like, uh, yeah, like they were, like they, that. were they were like trafficking on girls and, um, yeah, like, some shit like that. I think prostitutions. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 
don't know. I didn't pay, I didn't pay like, much attention to it. I didn't read into I didn't get to read it at all. I just like somebody just told me about if it. If it's too. not TMZ, you don't care about it. Basically. I, that's not that's <laughs> not nice, but you know if it's nothing about the shade room, how yeah, you unlock. Yeah, like, yeah. I actually don't follow the shade room. Ah. Uh, yeah. I mean I do follow TMZ. Only so I can try to keep up with you. So whenever you bring something up, I'm like, what? <laughs> At least yeah. I can say, like, you know what? I saw it somewhere. If you, if you, I just read a headline. The Shade Room or Hollywood Unlocked is you'll see the most of what I talk yeah, about. Yeah, that's Jason. I would like to have Jason on the yeah. show one day. He's, he comes to Aruba a few times. He comes a lot. Yeah. He usually hits me up when he does. But next time he comes down, because I kind of asked him a little bit. Well, then ask him again. Like, I just know, ask him here and then send him the damn video. Let me see. Jason, look. Shout out to uh, Fenty Lip Gloss. Because if it's not Fenty, we don't want it. But listen, <laughs> what we do want is you on the show, okay? 100%. So this is yeah, us telling you to get your ass here. When you're in Aruba, holla at this big-headed nigga and let him know that you're coming on the show so we can talk, okay? Because we got some stuff to talk about. No, nah, he's an interesting guy. Jason you know, is amazing. No, he is. He is. He's, he's, just, he, he's honestly a very humble and nice guy whenever he's in Gusto. One thing, though, I do Jason is say, not humble. No, but no, I mean, he's, well, at least in person. Maybe on social media, he has to give a, pers a persona, you know. But in real life, he's very chill. He's a he, very nice person, yes. like, in the sense He's of, very demanding. Sam, you know who comes. Yeah, he's a, he's a bitch. He's a diva. <laughs> he's a fucking bitch. Yeah. But he's like a nice person. Like I agree. he does yeah. a lot for the community and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But he's a bitch. He's like he has a sassy attitude. It is what it is. Like he's a bitch. He's like we're leaving. Why? Yeah, the hook is taking too long. I'm like, are you motherfucking kidding me? You literally asked me five minutes ago. <laughs> it takes fifteen minutes to fucking heat up that damn coal. How about you just chill? Yeah, like, calm shot. the fuck down. Ninety forty two. That's what he. That's what he likes. He's a good tipper though. I'm not gonna lie. That I'll, <laughs> I'll say this. I'll say I'll this. Give him that. He's a I'll great fucking this. tipper. <laughs> we had. Him and we had Mayweather on the same night. They were both, they, they blocked out the, like pretty much a whole VIP and Gusto. He tipped better than Mayweather. Okay, wow. You ain't got to say like that. No, Mayweather, but everybody knows Mayweather is cheap as fuck. Okay, well, he's going to punch you. I did Bring not say it. that, Mr. 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 Weather. I did not say that. He has a house here, so I don't know if he comes here a lot. Either, either way, oh, can Jason. Can you stop dry snitching? Shut up. It's public information. Oh my God. You ain't got to keep repeating it though. Like you're just trying to put people on business on blast. But Jason does tip a lot better than <laughs> Mr. Money. Wait, may, well, he has got money, but he doesn't tip. Okay, I feel like you're giving this hype up because you're for like that Logan Paul people guy. So oh, you're because, like because, to... because Logan Paul didn't get paid for the boxing match. I, you know, um, you're more like the, 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 you know, the celebrity Cardi B world. What do you call it? Pop star life? Pop culture. Pop culture. Yeah. I, I'm more into the social media, YouTube. Culture. You know, like boys, Logan Paul, Jake Paul. Okay, but one of those guys wanted to come into, like, pop culture world. Who? One of them, them Paul people. Wait, Logan they Paul. They were fighting. One of them was fighting, right? Yeah, well, Logan, Jake Paul is into boxing, and Logan Paul wasn't into boxing, but he went into wrestling. And he, he went into WrestleMania and all that big stuff. <laughs> yeah. Nothing really pop culture about it. They try to make songs, but, like, it was, like, back in the day. <laughs> little Disney. <That's> <laughs> You not seem gonna, like not, you had the, their songs in the playlist. What? You yeah, see, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can tell. I wonder if I can play it. Look, look up. I had a good song. Like, okay, <laughs> if you say so. Listen, I, I'm not gonna lie. Did I? Did I jam to the song? No, Maybe. I mean, shut the fuck up. I jammed to Kim Kardashian's there "My Jam." Go. That was bullshit. But like, we jammed to it. No. Yeah. No. This is just too. That thing sounds like. I'm gonna fuck it up. Yeah. But I'm not gonna say anything too much because I have a song out called Zaddy. So. <laughs> How's that? I mean, I. You guys ever released a video clip? Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure. I don't this, remember. It's on, on YouTube. Zaddy. But I heard that Zaddy. thing. I heard it way too much. I can't stand that song no more. You can't stand your voice. Do you look back like, what the fuck did I do? Um, or, for or, sure. Or be like, ooh, I did that. Um, uh, but it's both. It's both. Because you yeah, know I love to brag. Ginger's watching, huh? I give a fuck. 
I, bitch, I said, I tell him the same thing. I don't, I don't give a fuck. You guys still good friends? That's my set. That's my girl forever. Okay. Miss Quad, Miss Quad. She got it. She got it. Okay, Miss Mariah. <laughs> That's my girl forever. <laughs> Shit. But mm -mm, he sang, look, the, this guy sang that song on House Party. He kept saying Zeddy, yeah. Zeddy. So we had to like see it there. Then we had to go in the studio. He had to keep saying it. So I'm like, I'm I'm zaddied out at this point. And then so we gotta you, do the video. We gotta yeah. hear the song over and over. And you're like, fuck this song. I'm, I, you see what I? You, it's you like when, when I edit the videos, I keep hearing my voice the same thing. Hearing like, fuck, like skip. Uh, and just skip. Life. It's a lot. It is. I can see why artists don't like their songs. Like, <laughs> well, I, like I sometimes don't like hearing myself MC. Like whenever there's a video, uh, I turn it off. I don't like it. <laughs> like you have a good voice, not to me. <laughs> I don't, I hate hear, I really do hate hearing myself. I mean, I like to watch my videos of, of me. Like, I am you like, like watching yourself hilarious. twerk, that's for sure. But like singing, do you want to, you like seeing yourself I sing? love to see myself sing. Like, I have a blast. Okay. Hold me, hold Here me. <laughs> you know how we do. If it ain't uh, fancy, we don't want it, baby. Hey, guys. <laughs> Skip the commercial. All right, picture this. It's a hot sunny day in Aruba because, you know, Aruba is a sunny island and it's super hot. And you're thinking to yourself, man, I could use something that's very refreshing. Now, that is where our main sponsor, Heineken Silver, comes in. It is extra refreshing, like for real. So make sure you go to your local stores, Superfood, Ling Sans, and get your Heineken Silver today. <laughs> What else? You want to talk to me about something that you walked in. When you walked in, you said, like, there's something I want to talk about. Something about people letting go. Oh, no. Yeah. I was just saying, like, it's a topic. Like, so, okay, so recently I've noticed, okay, that a lot of people that I've been coming in contact with. You're like a therapist now, huh? I know. It's crazy. It's <laughs> like I'm a guru. <gasps> I'm okay. so filled with knowledge. Okay, Jay Shetty. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this who This guy that reads is, one but... book. Uh, <laughs> Thinking we're rich and he's a fucking guru, huh? <laughs> but it's beyond that. It's like, yeah. it's my angel numbers and all that good stuff. You know, my faith is big. So like, yeah, the spiritual realm, they be talking to me, you know? Yeah. And I have like a lot of people spiritual in my mind. Spiritual realm. But anyways. Okay. So a lot of people have been coming up to me and they're like kind of like having the same conversation of like trying to let go of like somebody in their life that they feel like has no more worth in their life. Okay. But like I've, I'm like, oh, this, wait. is this applied to friends, family, relationships? Like everything, just in general. In general, okay. like like a lot of people, I feel like they're like coming into a stage now, whether it be like in their twenty threes oh, wow, or the twenty fives or even the thirty sevens. Like, I feel like everybody is in like or like most people are in that same shift right now, where they're like, okay, like I'm trying to see like. Who's beneficial in my life? Like, what type of purpose do I have with you in my life? And what ones do I not have? Are you more of a, like, a, a, a burden or more of a... Like, do you add value to my life? If yeah, not, I feel if like you're a not lot adding of any value, then, like, that. I should... Yeah, I've, I've had that stage, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's... it's I don't know. I think, I think people have to just... I think you got to take a step back and look at your circle and, and ask... Sorry. And ask yourself, like, who's adding? That's something, like, I always think about, like, if I meet a new person or it, it doesn't come from a place of, like, I'm better than you or I don't want to spend time with you because I'm, you know, I sent you a post um, the other day, remember? And it was people think, ah, oh, Samil or Shark is fake now because they don't have time for me. Look, no, 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 no. I just, I assessed my circle and my friendships and I limit myself Prioritize. My time, that's what yeah, it is. Yeah, I prioritize my time to certain people. Why? Because these people add value to my life and vice versa. I add value to them. And if, I'll say this right now, if you don't have a goal or if you're not ambitious or if you don't want to grow, that's do me a favor, stay out of my way. And, and, and it's not, and it doesn't come from a place of ego. It doesn't come from a place that I think I'm better than you. It's just that I am going to die one, one day and I want to make sure I live my life to the fullest, I did everything I wanted to do. Even if I fail, I still can look back and say, I fucking tried it and never have that, oh, what if I did this? What if I started a podcast video show? What if I didn't, I started vlogging? What if I go to Spain and meet this person and I fucking blow up and 
you know, start emceeing at Tomorrowland. But like, I, I do understand that in life, it, I think it comes with stages in, in age. Like when you're 20, 25, I think every five years, you should reassess like, all right, who are my friends <clears throat> that... You know, I don't even think it's like every five years. I feel like... People the, change. Like The process just happens like on a daily. Yeah. I feel like as you move on, like every day that you wake up, that's like... A, like you get the opportunity to realize, like, okay, this is this this is another chapter. Like, yeah. your day gets to be exactly whatever the fuck you want it to be. 100%. If you want to give it, like, 100% into work, that's what your day is going to be. If you want to give it 100% into, like, you just decide. chilling and sleeping out, that's exactly what it's going to be. But yeah. you have the opportunity to make your day whatever you want it to be. Yeah. And if you are if you don't have any goals, you Boy, never ambitious. have anything. Yeah. Where are you going? You're going to wake up and be like, okay, I'm going to sit and play PlayStation all day. I'm going to watch Netflix. I'm going to go to work, come home, take a shower, probably watch porn, go to bed, and then repeat. Like, you don't have nothing. Don't get me wrong. Like, sometimes I do wake up like, fuck this. I'm going to do nothing. Everybody has those days. 100%. But you need to have some sort of personal purpose. Like, what do you want to accomplish? What do you want to do with your life? Like, I feel like fucking Jay Shetty right now. You know who Jay Shetty is? No. Anyways, it... You should start to figure out, like, what is it I want to do with my life? And, like, figure out what the end goal is and then reverse engineer it. Like, okay, I want to make it to Tomorrowland, to MC. What do I do? Okay, I got to grow. I got to do social media. I got to go to Spain, work in this club that has all these DJs that come in, at least international DJs. Hopefully one day some of them picks me up and be like, hey, I want you to go and tour with me. And then you end up on that big stage. Like, figure out what the end goal is. And then reverse it to like, okay, I got to do this step, this step, this step. Okay, here is where I start. And I know what the next step is and the next step is. And that's how you get to where you want to get. Some people make it, some people don't. But at least you wake up every day. Yeah, at least you wake up every day and be like, and make sure it's something you like. Because that's something I I always tell myself. I love it. I I, I tell myself, not really about the money, but I always say, if it makes me happy and I'm going to enjoy doing it, then I'll do it. If I feel like it's going to be a hassle and a pain in my ass, I'm like, oh, I got to do this. God damn it. Then I don't care how much money. Well, maybe if it's a million dollars. <laughs> maybe. Everybody has a price. Everybody has maybe a price. Maybe if it's a million dollars in six months of torture, I'll take it. But aside from that, just figure out what you like and pursue it. You know what I mean? No, you have to love it. I, mean, I, really, I really feel like you have to love it. And I feel like I've, sorry. that's why, like, huh? No, continue, sorry, sorry. What? No, 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 continue. Because I was going to say, whatever you love today, like, maybe I can wake up today, love making the video podcast, I love editing um, the show. That's how I feel today. Just because you love it today doesn't mean in five years, you get, maybe like, I'm so fucking done with this. But that's the beauty of growing. Exactly. That's where I was going to go. Like, that's why I say, like, every five years, three to five years, you change, you like, that's what I tell people in relationships. Don't get into a serious relationship under the age of 25. You you don't even know who the fuck you are. Figure yourself out. Figure out what you want to do. And eventually, you're going to find someone that matches who you are and what you like to do. Maybe you fall in love with somebody in the same industry as you or has the same mentality as you. But just you need to figure out what you what you love doing and try it. Especially in today's age, you like making muffins every day. Fuck, man. Figure out 250 recipes and release three episodes on your Instagram reel every fucking week. And you'll you'll be covered for the next, I don't know, three years, two years. My math is pretty much fucked up, but I you get mean, it. that's just that's just that's just the smallest portion of 100%. it. Hundred percent. Because if that's if that's your 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 stuff, then that you're supposed to take that like okay, now let's benefit from that. How do we make money off of this hundred percent hobby hobby that I love so much? Because that's what it's about. Like I feel like quitting my job, you're just stuck as a robot in a system of like you gotta wake up, you gotta go to work, you gotta come back, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Okay, it's like one rotation of things that I I know I love. I love. Dealing with people, people and I love yeah, doing all same. of this stuff, but I'm like, this ain't it. Like that, that's just not it. It's either it, it was at some point, but then you're like, okay, I've outgrown this. What's next for me? It you know? was, but again, from a young age, even when I was there, 
I've always known that media is my thing. Something about yeah. social media. I've always known that like, like personality kind this of was yeah. my thing. Like it just always felt comfortable. I can just take up a phone, a camera, Actually, whatever. It was always so easy and natural for me. Your, your confidence when it comes to that is like, honestly, I it's, love un, it. it's unmatched. It's my thing. So I've always known that corporate world was not for me. Same for me. I don't like, like it. It was like, I love it. No offense to anybody in the corporate no, world. No, no offense. But I mean, <laughs> Shout out to my girlfriend. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, it's just not for me. So like when I took, when I was like, you know what? I'm going to quit. We're going to take all in on media. Like this is what it is. Like, and you're doing it. You have your own radio show. You have your podcast. Per. You have your periodical apparel. Per. You make Instagram stories. Per. You got brand deals. Per. So you're making it happen. Big I think we're, I think we're, we're both doing something like, it's not for everybody. Let me say that first. Dropping out of school, pursuing what we like. Maybe in the beginning is not is not as easy. I dropped out of school to go into entertainment as an MC at Singer Frog. That's why I dropped out. Like, ooh, I that's why I, I like the whole being working with people and entertainment. Because I started at Singer Frogs, and that like probably like six months in, I was like, yo, I fucking love this shit. Like, I'm gonna figure out how to make uh, life to do by doing this. Fast forward 10 years later, I'm still fucking doing it. Like, I am I also bartend in Gusto. So I wanted to comment on what you said earlier. Like, you said, like, uh, having a job, the same going in and going out. Some people enjoy it. Like, some people, like, I, I like bartending. So for no, me, it's like, you know. There's like, a job for everybody. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't get it twisted at yeah. all. That's not what I'm saying at all. No, so I just wanted to clarify, because some people yeah. just have a, oh, I have a job, and I love going in and out my job, because that's what I like, so. No, like I, I mean, that's that's Ching percent. That's what I'm saying, and yeah. it needs to be something that you, you really like, a passionately love doing. It's the same thing. Like if you're working in a hotel, you're dealing with these. You're the reason these people Come stay back. is gonna yeah. be amazing. 100%. If you're not gonna do that job with passion, don't do it. Like honestly, do not do it because people pay big bucks. People put up their life savings. Some people save up to die here. Like they, their last it's wish crazy, is just yeah. to die here. Can you imagine if they come here to die and then you have an attitude today just because you don't really like this job, they just pay you good, and you're going to be here being rude to this person, not knowing they're in, on their last day? You don't have a passion for the job, don't do it. People have their It doesn't matter what job it is. If you don't have the passion for it, don't, don't do, do it. Don't do it, yeah. Maybe, maybe if you're in a financial situation, guys, this is not life advice. It is just personal experience. Um, you know, Maybe not might not work for everybody. But, uh, fuck, I lost my train of thought. No, financial advice you were saying. It's not financial advice. No, I was saying, advice. like, don't take, you know, like, just want to say a little disclaimer. Mm -hmm. Well, there are people that come here, like, I know I know specifically someone that brought her um, mom's ashes here to fucking pour it in the fucking ocean. You know, people like you said, people kill themselves. Like, even when they're dead, they still bring them, like, I won't take me to Aruba. I'm gonna take my ashes. But... Yeah, it's like, dude, you know what you said earlier? Just find something you fucking love doing. This this conversation became very seriously. I, I told you. Like, yeah, yeah, because like, you were, guys, I, I you were debating you. Where, which we're going to go, <laughs> this or OnlyFans. <laughs> I told you. It's kind of like a serious one. No, it is. It is. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think there's no way we can segue into going into OnlyFans every conversation because I'm even thinking as we're talking, I'm like, how the fuck am I going to title this episode? But, no, but it... I, Boils back to what I was saying, like based off of what everybody's talking about yeah. now. I feel like legit, like there's a shift that everybody right now is in that moment of what are your priorities now? Like, yeah. and I feel like a lot of people are choosing to be selfish. You have to be. That's the best thing to you be. I keep to be. telling people. You I'm might think you're an selfish. asshole, but fuck them. Because Too if they think you're like, bad. oh, fuck, it's a meal of shark. Time. They already think you're an asshole, as is. So, I mean, like, make it make it worth their while. Like, it's yeah. not about them anyways. If you're not happy, then too bad. But you can't dim your light to make other people feel comfortable. You can't, li you can't live your life to please other people. At all. I was that. I, that was me in the beginning. No, I know. You used to really irritate I, me. There's a part of me that still has it. I can't. No, I think I I, it comes from the being in the service industry. Like... I want to make sure you're having a good time. I want to make sure you're happy. I want to make sure you're doing this. I want to make sure when you leave Gusto, you're or Senior Frogs, you're the best fucking. You're the best fucking time. But and because because of that habit, I want to make sure. Shark, are you okay? Are you having a good time? I have it with Tori too. 
Whenever I'm emceeing at a gig, I will like look, look for her like, you good? You want something to drink? But Can I? That's I why you have to it. like prioritize who gets that treatment. Exactly. That's what it is. Exactly. It's not a bad quality. It's just that you can't give that quality to everybody, everybody. because everybody won't receive yes. it the same way. I agree. So I that's agree. the difference with that. I, I learned that as well the hard way. No, I won't say hard way, but like it you, took me. You, it took me time to to like realize that shit. Or I try to depend on other people. Like, hey, can you do this for me? Like, this Max always fucking beats me. Like, Samil. See, compa, si will fucking miss. Like, because coin, but let's go through hand it. Like, see, compa, add a triple miss. See, compa, add a triple miss. See, compa, say, will miss. Don't depend on anybody. Just figure out what you like. Do it on your own. Because t- tomorrow you can hire Shark. Shark is going to let you down one day. And then what? You're fucked. Mm-hmm. Better to do it on your own from the beginning. Learn how to do it. And then when shit gets really big, then you outsource it. Because when the, you outsource it, it'll be like, fuck you. I'm like it's fine by me. I can do it myself. I can do it myself. But yeah, I'm but, just um, giving you a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I agree. I agree. Like I always say, like if I don't know how to do it, let me pay somebody. Yeah. But while I pay you, I'm gonna learn from you too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> we ain't gonna be the same circle, and I'm not just gonna be like, oh, okay, yeah, look, just do your thing. And do-. No, what's that? Okay, how do you do that? How do you? Yeah. Okay, good. I I am not scared to ask no questions. Peri- but the periodical, like it's. One one man show like it's you, currently you, a one man show. <laughs> it's currently a. One- <laughs> I'm gonna kick this dog. Oh second. my gosh! But it talking. is currently like a one man show, so I'm like just doing it on my own, and I'm just I'm just I don't know. It's fun. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's cute. Whatever. But yeah, it's like a one man show. I'm just making it work as is. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself right now, guys. It is what it is. Like, bro, put your dog in a cage, homie. <laughs> anyway, sorry, guys. I don't care. I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to add this shit out. Like, leave it. <laughs> just leave it like, oh, okay. So sorry. Oh, yes. But yeah, just me on my own. But I do have like a team. I'm not going to lie. Um,. It's like my kind of like financial team. So like I budget with them. I make like, okay, like this is what I'm going to do next. Like how, how big is your team? Like two or three, four people? It's th- it's three of us. It's four of us in total. Okay. It's four of us in total. Shout out to my peeps. Ay. Dwayne, Shu, Ay. Pops. Okay. Those, that's like the godparents to Periodico. Okay. So like they, f- they helped me with like a lot of like funding. So like when I was like stuck in some tough times. This was, this is recent? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like this was like since I quit Ritz. Mm-hmm. Like you told me about it. Yeah. Yeah. It was some like tough the financial times. was like holy fuck. Not see was, this coming. It was. It was a hot mess. Damn. It was a hot ass mess. But they came in. They stepped in, and like that's like part of my team right now. But I do feel like eventually I'm gonna get like an account. Uh, I have an accountant. Yeah. But I'm gonna get. All the- oh yeah. 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 Ye
Um, yeah. Um, when you, because you were, I was going to refer to what you said about having like a little team. It's very important to have a group of friends that support what you do. Like, have friends like who are almost in not in the same industry, but at least in the same situations as you. Like, they also own businesses. They have. Um, I was I was having lunch today with Max, and we we're going back and forth. Hey, how do you do this or how do you do that? Because you know he's he's been in the business way longer than me. Yeah. Um, like on no filters and like we also have like a little small team. You know, it's you, just of me. Of course, your story that helps out with all the professional corporate stuff. Maybe we grow to it. We got Max. Max. Like for, seat, for those that don't know, Max was, is the one that makes our thumbnails. He's the one that made our no filter intro. He's the one that made the no filter, the new no filter logo. We he's, love you, Max. He's the one that made it. It's probably why he watches every episode. I know. I love yeah. Max. Max is my favorite. And he always yeah. like Samil is it malo. Samil cambia say. Samil. <laughs> yeah, Max is the most critical. That's what yeah. I love though. I yeah. I give me people like that any day over yes men. I don't like yes men. Sorry. Yeah. Max, Max is the one that really beat me like. I mean, I see what so the company depend on like thumb. Now he understands. He he doesn't mind making thumbnails for me because he knows like editing takes a lot of fucking time. The reels take a lot of fucking time, so he helps me with that. But it's like have the kind of friends that like you kind of like help each other out. You know, I host all of his hot shots parties. I help promote all of his hot shots events. It's a beneficial well, relationship. We both grow. Like as long as we That's everybody what it's grows. Supposed yeah. to be. If it's not that, you gotta cut. You gotta cut that shit. Yeah. I'm sorry. It sounds horrible mm -hmm. sometimes. Like some of the people that people they might be the you. closest to you. Yeah. But Bro, I cut my. Own, I've said this before in previous episodes. I cut my own family. Yeah, like I'm if sorry. You don't you gotta add value, go. I'm sorry. I'll see you at Christmas. I'll see you at New Year. I'll see you for and your maybe birthday. Maybe not. If I'm busy, if I'm booked and busy, you might not even see me then. Yeah. Sorry, baby. Hundred percent. I ain't got time. I mm -hmm. don't have time. Mm -hmm. This sorry. past year was the first time I spent New Year's at my family because I wasn't working in Gusto. Yeah, it's 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 very selfish, but you need to prioritize yourself because at the end of the day, you're gonna die by yourself. You're Nigga, gonna, you're gonna die. You're gonna, you're gonna look. You're gonna period. look back and say, "Fuck! I wish I just did what I want to do." That's what I think about all the time. If I look back, am I gonna be happy? Even if I don't fucking make it, at least I say like I did what I fucking love, and I have no fucking regrets. You know, you gotta see life. This is how I see. I probably said this before. Like when I do birthdays, I always do like the reverse countdown. If I've told you this before, you've said this. It's like basically if 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 somebody. The average person lives around, let's say, 85 years, right? So whatever your birthday is, like, for example, I'm turning 34 this year. So I do 85 minus 34. I have 51 years left to live. What am I going to do with those 51 years of my life? That's how I see, like, like fuck, now I'm motivating. I'm like, don't look. If you count going up, there's no ceiling. You can be 102, 103, 104, 150. You never fucking know. If you go the other way around, you... You go down five, four, three, like, oh, fuck, I got 10 more years to live, bro. What the fuck? It's like if you went to the doctor, and this is very dark. You went to the doctor, like, hey, you have a brain tumor. You have six months to live. Your whole fucking life will change because all you're going to think about is, like, how can I do everything that I've always wanted to do before that clock hits zero? But that's that's the, the, the thing with mindset is that some would think like that, and then the others would just be like, I'm going to die. So I'm just not going to do anything. Everybody's walking around and they're coming back to fucking life. I'm going to get sick. And that's the thing. Like, people don't even understand. Like, legit. Like, we just going to die. So you can be doing all this saving and all this. No, I'm working and I'm going to have good time when I go on vacation. Or I'm going to do this and when I'm going to do this for, for this time. Or I'm going to. Uh-uh. That is not promise. That, none of that shit is promise. You can literally leave this fucking show, get hit by a car on your way home. Right then, boop. This will be your last episode. I gotta look Slip for a new right host. right here, die, done. That's Not in it. here, please. But like, <laughs> I at least I can say like, if I die today, I had a good time. Same. Did I accomplish everything I wanted to accomplish? Hell to the fuck no. But I did what I fucking needed to do. Like yeah. for the little black bitch from San Nicolas. <laughs> Shit. Mama, I made it. Like I did something, girl. Fenty beauty. <laughs> but I did something. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Like, No, I do. Same for me. I dropped out of school just to pursue what I wanted to pursue. I'm still doing it till this day. Do I want to go? We all do want to go bigger. We all have the 
Fuck. Uh, my my dream is to MC at Ultra Main Stage or Tomorrowland Main Stage. That's my dream. One day I'm gonna clip what I just said two seconds ago, mm. and I'm gonna be like, "Hey, remember when I said this? Oh, look at me now." That's what I want. If I if I do that, I'm like, okay, I've made it with my MC career. Like, you gotta put in the work. Yeah, I would have never thought I would be in fucking Spain MCing. I'm going again this year, so super excited. I hope you vlog this time again. As long as I don't get robbed, you know. I mean, hopefully that was a lesson for yourself. Yeah, this time it's gonna be worse because I'm gonna be taking some of these equipment with me and hopefully fly your ass to Spain and do some interviews. We'll see. At least Holland. At least that we can do. Maybe not Spain, but at least we can do like a few episodes in in Europa. Holanda. Uh -huh. That was a very serious conversation. I know, right? <laughs> Look at us getting mature. Hundred percent. I guess we're gonna. I think we're gonna have, going to have to save the only. Yeah, that's for, great. That's no problem. Yeah, we're gonna save that for for not next week, but the week, maybe the week after that. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else, guys. Real quick. Um, keep forgetting this already for four episodes. We're available on Spotify, Apple yeah. Podcast. If you can't see us, hear us, all right? So go on Spotify, hit that subscribe on Spotify, you know, listen to us. If when you're running at the gym, you're working out, maybe you're sitting in class and don't give a fuck of what's being taught and you just want to listen to something. Okay, not that. No, focus. Listen to your teacher. Whatever. The fuck? Did you ever listen to your teachers? I did. I had some influential teachers. Did you listen to every single class? I know. Hell Thank to the you. fuck no. The ones that you don't listen to, that's the no, one you put your headphones in. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way because... I didn't pay attention to accounting. I hated it. Now I wish I paid attention. See? Who would have thought? You see? You heard what he just said? He regrets not paying attention. Put your phone down if you're in class and focus on your teacher. Imagine if somebody's actually watching in class and be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> They should. They should quit the shit. We got some nice people around. Like we got people in Holland, Canada. Fuck you, James. Oh, yeah. he always talks shit. He's like, "Hey, quick question." He's like, "What? Do you still keep Doritos in the fridge?" I'm like, "Fuck <laughs> you, James." But yeah, he, he's weird. he's he's from Toronto. He's here every week. Sorry, almost every month. That's weird. Though. You're you're weird. Who? You and those Doritos. Whatever. Oh, um, that's not true. Somebody was asking. Oh yeah, somebody asked a question. Um, so she, Rito's bitch is mad that they not nah. chose. She was asking, "Un pregunta para Shark is to ace na kuta reuse kuta reuse. Tapa e mes bebe algo kun nam back off elo dun otro hande algo di bebe ku e ace na nje." Oh shit! Shout out to uh, Cyril Trump, you know her? Oh my god! Yeah, leave a comment, baby. Come on. Oh my god. Okay, what? Like, nah. would you would you like serve that same cup to people? I would never. Have no, you ever? I would never. Okay. Ew, that is gross. It is my ice. Like, <laughs> no, I have like I, a specific I, straw in it, and all of that goodness. No, that's mine. Okay. I have a weird thing that I do. I like to mix juices. I don't know. Huh? Why. What do you mean? Like juices. Like. It, so I'll take like a, like a rica. The fruit punch and the straw. Oh. That was my, my toe. Sorry. I was like, the f don't say that. <laughs> the Rika fruit punch, the strawberry kiwi, and the the uwa yeah. from, Jesus what's this one called? Jumax. Jumax. I don't know what it's called. The dark Jumax, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ne nice nectar thick. I know, yeah. I like Ju I like Jumax. Oh my god, Sponsor it's so us. good. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. But like, so literally weird. put like all in one cup. Yeah. <laughs> you should bring one next time, so I can try whatever you're fucking making. It is so good. Before um, I was gonna ask you, what's that on your on the table? Oh shit. Okay, listen. Because yeah. I know, I think it was part of your last drop. Oh my god, it was. Okay, so we were talking about this last week. Yeah. Okay, so guys, look to the, show the people what you got. I'm ready to show the people. Okay, guys, so listen up. This is our new release for Periodico Apparel. Okay, this is from our line, Periodico Sky. And it's I It's a have, real line? What? It's like a real line? Like, yeah, this like is Like, you're going to have, like, a fitness line, Sky line. Yes. Dope. Periodico, stay on it, baby. Okay. We don't sleep. We don't okay. sleep. Okay, so this is actually our Periodico Sky jar, okay? So, what it includes is, all right, so you have at the top here... You have a magnifying glass, okay? You have a charging port, and you have your little light switch, okay? That can turn on. 
So this is so you can like actually watch your herbs and watch all that good stuff. Okay. <laughs> now it is also a storage jar. So a lot of space up in this. Okay. We have a lot of space. And to the bottom, we actually have a grinder. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Kind of uh-huh. like the app. I know, right? <laughs> Shut up. Okay, but this is just in case, okay? Let's say, for instance, you're it, on the It road. looks like a Coca-Cola can. Right? Like a, like so a little cute. beer can or something. We're ready to go. So the whole purpose of this is, like, if you're on the go and you're like, oh, no, like, I really want to just, like, hit a smoke and you just have, like, you know, your herbs and whatever, all you got to do is just take this out, grab in, close it, grind, 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 grind. And to the bottom, we actually have a pipe. for a Yeah. I did not see that. Yeah. There's a, a pipe for a one hitter. So after you grind, you take it out, you stuff it, and you're supposed to have your periodical lighter. Okay. Mm, so it's I, like a, is, a package deal, baby. I mean, hello. I actually did have the package deal. Okay. Damn, and sorry. once you turn that on, you good to go. You okay? in the sky. You in the sky. And then you just store easy, breezy, beautiful. Cover girl. Fenty girl. <laughs> Her. Nice. Okay. I'm proud of you. Like you really sold Thank out everything. You. And it also does come with its little charger. Nice. So you can use that. And then for the periodical lighters. Okay. So this is for my people that already have the lighters. This is how you, you light it up. Okay. This is how you refill them. So you have to make sure there's no air in it. And you have to get like your, your bottle of butane or whatever. It's, you have to shake this really well because apparently they like lie down at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So you have to shake it up really well. And in the cover, you get like different heads. So you have to use like the smallest head, place that on, hold the lighter upside down. And then you just go in, press it for five seconds. After you press it for five seconds, you take it out. And then you just wait for a moment and your lighter should be good to go. Is it working? Yes, it does, of course. But this is not the lighter lighter. I don't have the lighter lighter right now because I sold all. So this is my original I, one. Out here selling. I, that, I mean, ain't that the point? 100%. Hello. Hello. So, yeah, that's just that. Dope. That's what you, we got what, what do you have right a, now. What do you have coming next? Do you have an idea? Oh, yeah. Next up is my, my line. So I'm going to do another line for my little potties, okay? So, <laughs> not for like my potheads. No, no. I mean, this is for like my planters, like pot, like pots. <laughs> no, but it's for like my happy people. Like everybody just love to be happy. So I'm gonna release the smiley face one. So like with, the, with the newspaper, like like you have it over there. No, the the smiley like, face like, design. Oh yeah, yeah, you showed me. Yeah, you yeah, got the it, you political got yeah, smiley yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. what I'm gonna release. So we have a line. I'm, I'm not gonna say what the whole line is right now as yet. Keep it, keep it a little secret. It's it's coming though. So that's Good. that's what's next for Periodico for sure. Look at us making moves. I know. This is gonna be an interesting year. It's gonna uh, be. It's amazing. gonna be like, uh, like this year is gonna set up for next year. Like this is the foundation. Like this is like, yeah, what no, we are, what we stand this for. This is like this is the year where if you don't push, it's like if you don't make it, it's your own fault because you didn't push hard enough. Hundred percent. Speaking of pushing and, you know, a little segue, I want to give a big shout out to a, a bro, Mr. Mauro Caralps. Car- 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 oh, Car- I can't say his last name. Caralps. Caralps. My R is fucked up, if you haven't noticed. Anyways, guys, um, uh, Self Making Podcast is back, actually, <laughs> as of this recording. The first episode should be out, so go on YouTube, look up, um, I just blanked. <laughs> self make I was saying a self making podcast that, that's his YouTube he just started he just hit 100 subscribers today nice so congratulations nice little milestone um, also subscribe to our channel so we can hit that thousand I think that's why they're watching yeah what <laughs> what do you mean never mind never mind um, I think anything else you want to add I'm, I'm pretty much good this I was a good episode it. it went a little bit deeper than I thought got a little a little deep you. yeah it's a good thing uh, we didn't talk about what we were going to talk about but hey, next week, guys, we got Steve Andreas. Hopefully, the week after that, we got Chucky, and we got some other people lined up. Um, we're trying to we try to do maybe two interviews per month, two episodes on our own. It's like it's to mix po- it up a little bit. Yeah, it's supposed to be like one yes, one no, one yes. But this month has been just it doesn't matter. It yeah, just, it just needs to flow. However it goes, it goes. Percent, guys. If there's anyone you guys want us to interview or 
talk about, please come in the comment section or DM us on Instagram and let us know. And we will try to reach out to these people and try to set up an interview. So cool, man. I got nothing else to say. Big shout out to our sponsor, Heineken Silver. Thank yeah. you very much. Love you guys. Um, Desperados, we love you guys. And anything else? I think that's pretty much it. Romar, we love you guys. Yeah. You want to do the closing this time? No. And we'll see you all next week. Peace. Ow. <laughs>